for a second, Rick. Rick, how no. about it? I uh, decided to play for Oakland. Well, uh, I really don't know. Uh, this is not. I did not go into the office today to discuss actual contract terms with Frank Mueller. I've made it clear before that after I had my initial meeting with Franklin, that uh, when I came back in to see him again, it will either be to sit down and work out a definite contract or to go in and tell him exactly what my decision has been. And my decision was, of course, now to go over and play for Oakland. So I did not sit down with Franklin to see exactly what he was going to offer me this time. What well, I'm sure that Franklin Mueller is going to have to take all the legal actions that he possibly can to uh, try to avert this. And uh, this is something that's to be expected. And I will hold no ill feelings toward Franklin for doing this. And uh, i just like to make it clear that Franklin and I have always been on real fine terms. And uh, I don't think there's any real ill feeling between both of us. And I think he understands my situation. And I will hold nothing against him for taking any legal actions that he has to or is forced into doing. The proposal that Oakland has offered to me is something that uh, I feel is best for my wife and my family as far as our security is concerned. And, and this is the reason why I've decided to go over. And it was the most difficult decision I've ever had to make in my life because Frank and Muley and everybody with the Warriors has you know, just been tremendous to me. And uh, it was extremely difficult. And this is really an understatement when I say that. It, it was very difficult for me to make this final decision. Ring, why do you think the American Basketball League is going to last? Well, I think that the American Basketball Association uh, definitely has the financial backing that is needed for a basketball team to survive or a basketball league to survive. I think that the old league that was established a few years back did not have the financial security that these people do have. And, of course, uh, you have to go into this thing realistically, realizing that, of course, you're not going to go in and become a big money maker. And this is the way that these people feel. And I think with this type of an attitude, uh, they can't help but be a success, uh, especially if they can get some of the younger ball players uh, just coming into the picture. So that if someone's going to say, well, gosh, a guy like Rick Barry thinks enough of the old league to go there, uh, it isn't like a player like perhaps Thurman, who would have none of these fringe benefits. It, it would mean more if a Thurman or a, a West or a Baylor would go because of the fact that uh, there are no, none of these uh, unique uh, things that, that Rick's got going for him.